Welcome, fellow infidels. I am Gotti Edelman. 1962, John F. Kennedy was president, Jackie was his wife, and we had Camelot in America. But 1962 also brought us the Cuban Missile Crisis. It was the only time in American history, in October of that year, that John F. Kennedy had ordered us to go to DEFCON 2. It was the closest this country has ever come to a nuclear confrontation with Russia, and probably World War III. This was because he wouldn't back down. Russia had put medium-range missiles in Cuba, pointing obviously at the United States, and Kennedy followed with the surrounding Cuba and a naval blockade. He called Russia's bluff, Russia eventually backed down, dismantled the missiles, pulled them out of Cuba, and we averted what probably would have been a nuclear nightmare. Now we have a different president in office, and we have Iran. Israel's been screaming for years that Iran is building a nuclear weapon, our administration said, no worries, we'll sit down, no preconditions. Then they said sanctions. Now Obama's saying unprecedented sanctions. Sanctions don't work. Iran is getting everything they need from China, Pakistan, Russia, and North Korea. Sanctions aren't working. It's a fact. We don't need the IAEA to tell us where the Iran currently is with their nuclear capabilities. That's a fact. They're building one. This week, they released their report on Iran. And all this week, I've watched a multitude of experts talking about how far Iran actually is from obtaining a nuclear weapon. I've heard four to five years. I've heard a year. I've heard six months. And I even heard one expert say, they probably already have one. One expert actually went so far as to say, it's not a threat to the United States because Iran's missiles can only reach the Middle East and possibly Southern Europe. <laughs> no worries there. Once again, Israel is going to be left on its own if America doesn't do something or at least help Israel. It needs to be stopped, and it needs to be stopped now. You need to contact your congressmen and senators and tell them you're willing to have the United States do whatever it takes to make sure that Iran does not obtain a nuclear weapon. Iran has already called America the big Satan and Israel the little Satan. That's a fact. Ahmadinejad said he's going to wipe Israel off the map. That's a fact. Do we really need to wonder what would happen if a weapon like that ended up in the hands of, oh, I don't know, Hezbollah ring a bell? Hezbollah in Mexico? Do I need to draw a picture or even a map? Contact your senators and congressmen deal with the conflict now, let's take out Iran's nuclear capabilities, or, if you prefer, we can wait until a nuclear bomb goes off in your town, or Israel's wiped off the map. Till next time, America Akbar.